Okay, so step two of this uh, project is to actually, uh, once you've cut away your trapunto, which is the dacron, so we've cut that away. Um, we've we've already basted the stitch down so we can cut away. I've put two layers of wool wadding and I've put a backing on this one for um, just for ease. Um, underneath here I've got a supreme slider on. Any kind of slider is fine. Um, that's this one and that is, uh, it's quite handy, it might be a bit glary, bit, uh, very handy for when you're free motion quilting on your sit down standard machine, domestic machine. The other thing I use, and these are very well worn, <laughs> you see my grabberoos, but that's, uh, that's the product there, grabberoos. So uh, if you're ever wanting to have a pair of gloves that um, you can rave about, these are the ones to go for, they last forever, as you can see mine have um, been very well loved. Uh, now, once I've actually got it sandwiched like a normal quilt, I'm going to come in and I'm going to start stitching on the actual drawn lines from the pattern, and then I'm going to stitch the other the other uh, sections. But I'm going to change threads for that. Uh, to start with, I'm going to use a uh, bright pink. I'm going to change my thread in a second. So we're going to stop the film, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so with Trapunto, all the sections need to be um, actually closed off, and you can see here I haven't yet done that, and that's because I'm going to use a different colour when I come around. Um, I'm going to now do the centres of these, and I'm, I'm going to do the outer edge. I'm going to go around about three, you know, two or three times, so just to um, give it a bit of texture because I like it. So I've already uh, pulled my bobbin thread through. I'm just going to hold it for a second while I. Do a couple of stitches and move it out of the way. And lift that up. Drag it out. Trim it off close. Because I'm going to go over so many times, that's not going to come out at any time. Not the near future. Now, because I like to do sort of arty sort of stuff, I'm going around not in the exact same spot. I'm giving it a bit of a gap in between because I like the look of that sketchy sort of um, thread work. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to do a bit of a swirl in the centre. Stop. Cut off. And even though that is a trapunto part, I've, I've flattened it down a bit now by doing that. So it makes the petals stand out a little bit more. And uh, the next one. And you can see I'm not going 100 mile an hour. I'm still only, I haven't changed my speed at all. I'm still sort of just cruising along. I want to try and cover up some of those wonky lines. And I'm going to do this in here and then cover up. Just something different. Now, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, while well, I've still got the orange in there, I'm actually going to stitch out the centres of the other little flowers 
um, and uh, that'll get them out of the way and, uh, until I get to the uh, pedals. <laughs>